Are you holding? <laughs> Today guys, 27th of May, we are celebrating quite special day here in the Czech Republic and the reason why is that yesterday the Czech Republic became the world champion in ice hockey. We won against the Switzerland and the whole Czech Republic was celebrating yesterday and I believe it's still gonna be celebrating up until the end of the week. And the another special and rare thing, it connects just to me and to Gwen because of yesterday's celebrations my boss decided that we will come to work later and we will end up early so it means I'm home very early today but Gwen is still at work so I'm gonna surprise her I will pick her up from work because most of the time it's me who is coming home very late and Gwen has to spend the whole afternoon most of the time alone here so this time it will be surprise but i will make it a little bit special i did not tell her i'm coming i will just park the car next to the kindergarten when gwen works and we will see if gwen will notice the car i would say most of women like don't care about the cars and it's okay there are few exceptions but let's see if Gwen will recognize our mania. So I'm already here in front of or near the Gwen's kindergarten and she's always going this way on the tram station. So I will be just sitting here quietly and let's see if she will notice. Gwen is coming. I can see her in the rear mirror but she's staring to her phone we mustn't scare her she's always on the phone all the time <laughs> and like this it exactly looks like guys don't spend too much time on your phone or else you can miss amazing opportunity in your life i have to catch her up or she will still walk hey madame don't you need a free ride hi why are you here <laughs> i was waiting there <laughs> really no clue no clue a phone is more important than, than life. <laughs> I'm just checking chats. All day. All day How long. How could you arrive early than me? It's still three. Yeah. It is. You just arrived here out of nowhere without me letting know. My boss let us go today home early. So we were like surprised that he's very like kind because he's not like that most of the time but in the end of the shift he said okay guys but tomorrow you have to come early <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's happy today because you won yesterday mm -hmm. right yeah. czech republic won like it's all over czechia right now like even the teachers were asking me earlier about if i was watching did you enjoy watching guys okay What's your impressions about it? Uh, I like it. Like at first I did not understand what's the game all about because they were just hitting the ball and it looks very chaotic for me. But as I focused on watching it, I understand slowly but and then it became so interesting. But what's more negative for me is that the game was aggressive. They were choking, punching, hitting with a stick, uh, flying to the wall, and I don't know, they're pushing and it was literally crazy for me and watching it made me so nervous and scared. And the people's screams as well and trumpet sounds, drums, the noises from people like watching it also makes me feel horrible. 
I had so much headache last night. I was not in the mood actually, honestly. The noise made my ear painful because I still have this pain after the middle ear infection. And it was so crazy and noisy. And I'm used to noise places because I'm from the Philippines. I don't know, but last night I was just not in the mood and I was so nervous. Here are the game. Here are the couple of clips how it looks. We did not went exactly to do to the Prague or to the Ostrava to watch the live game in the playground. We were watching in our pub in our village just on the TV, but still the atmosphere was Crazy. It's raining and no, it's a little bit raindrops and sunny. We have this kind of meat in the Philippines. If this kind of weather is doing at the same time and you're under the sun and at the same time under the rain, you will be you will become crazy. You will have mental ill problems. <laughs> mental problems. That's why you are like this. No. We are in the sea in my imagination. We are in the lake. <laughs> we are in the lake. So, Gobas going to have his bathing. You will not? Huh? You will not? No, I'm not gonna bath, just washing my feet. Is it cold? Yeah. He really can't live without, without the water. When we had plans about the Philippines, the number one thing that he was really thinking about is the water because he knows the status in my village that we are having hard time getting a clean water. Uh, we have river I live near nearby the river but the river there is so dirty so that's his concern right now if how we could be able to find a water supply since we don't have that in the in my village and the government built a water station it was before covid but it stopped when the lockdown happened and they did not start doing it again now so I'm not really sure when it will be finished maybe sometime in the future three years from now or hopefully next year they will start uh, building it so we can finally have a water supply in my village because since then when I was a kid we usually have this kind of problem water drinking water for washing water for taking a bath so we usually fetch there um, in the other village because they have a water supply so we have to um, travel with a motorbike so we can fetch water for drinking but for washing um, for bathing we use the water from the river but it's not really clean but we don't have a choice for that unlike here they have a lot of clean water because you know they're really taking care of their nature and everything like everything here so clean you cannot see trash everywhere like in my country and after we were done with Glenn in the bunk I had to cool myself because always going to the bunk makes me mad I will explain how it works here in Czech and how it is different between me and Gwen. Every time, like every month, I go to the bank to deposit my cash, my salary. <laughs> I receive a part of the salary on the bank account and the part of it is in a cash. The way it's like this is because employers want to save on employees as much as they want. So they will just give you on the contract, for example, 100 per hour but your actual your actual wage is 200 but that 100 per hour you will receive on the bank account and that 100 you will receive 
aside, like in the envelope after the end of the month. The other half, the employer doesn't have to pay the tax from it, insurance, health things, things like that. That's that thing, like employers are always saving the most on the employees and expecting employees to work till much and much more. And the difference what Gwen has in the kindergarten, she has a, like a monthly pay and she will receive all the salary, all the benefits straight to the bank account. So the employer has to pay all the tax from that and appreciate the workers there, the teachers just like is Gwen. So Gwen has the better social state according to the job in the Czech Republic than me who is Czech citizen. Is it fair? Well, according to the most of employers it is. <laughs> and it's not like I complain. I could complain to, for example, to the employer, but there is like, there is a way, okay, if you, if I would ask him to give me that all 200 on the contract, then he will say no. So then I can just decide to work for that 100 or just leave and that's it. It's not negotiable. That's how we say in Czech, if there is no plaintiff, there is no judge. I have an allergy of the sun when I look or if there's just a light touching my eye or literally the sun, I sneeze. <laughs> And we are in front of the sun and I'm trying not to look at it because I will sneeze. I'm not sure if it's allergy or what kind of thing we call it, but I asked some people if they're the same as me, but they said they're not. So I'm trying to guess where Puba is talking like, I can use it, but... I will make a quiz challenge. You guys have to write down in the comment how many times Gwen sneezed during this time because we are under the sun and... No, I'm I not would trying say to. it's zero sneeze. No, I did once, but I'm trying not to look at it so I will not sneeze. We have friends there. Yeah. Should, but if I will look at the them. clouds and there's a sun over there, I will sneeze. I'm trying not to look at it. You should join them. Mm. I'm not a duck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a duck. Okay. Do I look like a duck? Like, I would say there is huge similarity with the nose. And now it's time to head back home and enjoy the treat we got. <laughs> Bless you! Sorry. <gasps> no! <laughs> There's a guy here who's just naked. Changing and naked. And people can see him there. There. It's crazy how Czechs are. Like they're just... Our Czechs are really like this. Being naked, changing here in the public. So baby, someone can see your booty in there. Like on the other side of the lake, there is one beach. It's a part of the beach which is for nudists, like for people who are just spending time in the summer sunbathing and swimming naked. And that was the other content of ours with grandma. No, I'm not, I'm not going to accept the challenge. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> It's not, I'm not judgmental, I'm just shocked whenever I can see that here. It's like, because I can't really see that in the Philippines and when I saw that here for the first time, I was like just closing my eyes because people were just naked and I was laughing all the time. Like, oh my God, my eyes are virgin. <laughs> I can't, I can't see that. <laughs> We are not OA, it's not, like it's not OA, but it, but that's just how we are. Like if you are in the Philippines, try to travel there, and you can still see people wearing pajamas in the beach, pajamas and like big T-shirts. What if I was feel naked in the Philippines? <laughs> you will be banned <laughs> in the Philippines. I will be blacklisted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because it happened at one time in Boracay. There was a Korean girl, she was wearing thongs and like very tiny thongs and it only covers her tea, like 
like nipples and as well as just the uh, something. Camel toe? <laughs> Not even the camel toe, just covering a little bit of it. So she was blacklisted in Kurapai. She's not allowed to go there anymore. <laughs> so crazy. So how much more if you will be naked? It's just my expression. Yeah. Culture sensitive. <laughs> but it's nice here because people doesn't really care actually. Like that's also the best thing here. Like I would say positive because like they don't mind about what you're doing. But still I think about people minding my business because what I grew up in the Philippines that we mind everyone's business all around us so it really affected me a lot and even if I'm here already I'm still having this kind of mindset that people are thinking about something or judging something about me it's hard when I'm coming from the Philippines but there are also I would say the Philippines is slowly adapting the liberalism uh, culture but just some parts, especially in the city. But since I grew up from the province, and there are still truck door. No. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I was like this as well when I was young. Yeah, but since I grew up in the province, and there are still a lot of people in the province who are very traditional and very sensitive. So I grew up surrounded with those people, and it's you know it's hard. It's hard to be open-minded <laughs> but I learned a lot after I came here to be open-minded that's <laughs> also the best thing I adapted from here <laughs> but if I can still see someone who's naked somewhere I'm still shocked about that I'm still oh my god I can't help my eyes are la virgin my eyes are untouchable how many times you caught my father not naked. yet not even once. I saw him naked, but I did not look at him naked. Like I only look at his like this. I'm not. You know, it's your choice. Actually, it's to if your choice. It's your choice if you want to see it. Even if maybe someone is like naked in front of me, I don't really want to look at it. I'm still gonna look just the upper portion because I chose not to look at it. They call it in Visaya. Uh, in Tagalog, I di ko gusto ba mabahiran yung innocenting mga mata ko. Huh? <laughs> I don't know if it's correct Tagalog. <laughs> but yeah, I chose not to look at it actually. It's so sexually for me. Like, it's very sexual for me, so I don't want it. I would never chose like that. Yeah, I know. You always want to. Every man. Every man. Is it true? Everyone. Every man wants to see it. I don't agree with that, actually. I don't agree with it. No, that's the only thing you can do about it. <laughs> don't agree. Yeah, because the churchmen's are not like the churchmen's. I know in the church, like I was before. They're not. 
So I think um, not all men are. Is it every man? That's a question for men who's watching our YouTube right now. Every man. But why? Kuba said it's a mother nature and he thinks that it's God's fault because he thinks that God is a woman. What was that? God is a woman and he hates men doing those things. So she did it in the Bible, putting it sexually. But I was reading the Bible. I read from, from the beginning up until the end. Then I figure out that there are actually two gods. According to Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 that God created us with his likeness Men and woman. So if we talk about like logically thinking it's if it's likeness in the image of God and men and woman So that means there are two gods They're men, they're female and there is a male God That's also the thing that people did not realize while we were they were reading the Bible and they were going to church But they did not realize that there are two gods because the, there's this female God that is mentioned in the Bible so many times, especially in the book of Isaiah. And in the book of um, Galatians chapter 4 verse 26, it says, But the Jerusalem that is above is free, she is our mother. Do you know that? Of course. <laughs> Kuba can't relate because he doesn't have a Bible and he doesn't have a religion. We went to the store to treat ourselves and Gwen treated herself with pineapple. Ananas. A funny thing about pineapple, the Czech translation is ananas. And if you will put B in front of ananas, it's... Bananas. <laughs> but it sounds like manzanas as well. Apple. Yeah. Manzanas is apple in English. No, in Visaya. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm already confused of my languages. All right, so, you know, pineapples are usually growing in the tropical country and it's actually everywhere in the Philippines. It's just growing by itself everywhere as well, even in my village and we were hunting this in the wild. Let's see if I have this kind of skill in cutting it. It's actually my first time. So let's cut it first. Yeah. It's actually my first time though I was stealing a lot of this in the farm before when I was a child <laughs> together with my friends Crumb. oh <gasps> spoiled <laughs> nah. well, is it okay we'll be gone later how come it's spoiled it's not even that Oh, I need to here as well. We have to take this, this ones. This. What you will do with them? Throw it away. You cannot eat what? those. Yeah. I really thought. Baby, no. You cannot eat those. Those are hard. And? We call it subo. I think it's good now. It looks horrible, but it's fine, I guess. Let me just throw it away first. Don't throw it away. No, why not? It's. There might be insects in that. And it's so delicious if you will put a little bit of salt in it. If you want, it's really your choice. Why? But we do it in the Philippines most of the time with mango, salt with mango, salt with pineapple, salt with santon, all kinds of like fruits. What's the reason of that? Like we love, we love salt all the time. You don't know what's the reason of that so The reason is just we love the taste, that's it. Um, the reason of that once you will put the salt onto pineapple or mango, it will be sweeter than mm. just there. You know what? I will tell you. I will tell you guys one more fact. What's fact? Once you eat the pineapple. You can feel like a tickle pain on your tongue and there is a reason for that because pineapple contains the kind of enzyme which can break down the chemical structure of human proteins so it's not only you 
who is eating a pineapple. This little pineapple is eating you as well. Hmm? Crazy? What does it mean? What does it mean? Hmm. You did not listen to my explanation. Why it's eating you? <laughs> so, because the enzyme in this can break down the structure of protein in your tongue. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I went the bug, it's just delicious. <laughs> mm. It's been many years I haven't eaten it. Oh yeah, I missed jackfruit and when we go home to the Philippines, I will let Kuba taste it. It's heaven. Fruit, jackfruit. Good. The regular day of two regular people spending their regular after afternoon is over. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's like kind of crazy. In the previous video we were able to hit 500 subscribers, which is like amazing. I was honestly hoping that by this time it will be much more. But the friend of mine once told me like, Jacob, oh my god, you crazy? Like, can you imagine 500 people? sitting just in some listening room and listening to you like it's already so many and when i imagine that that's literally so many people so guys thank you guys so much for your support we appreciate it a lot with gwen if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button and see you in the next video